Hi, I'm Matt Fitz with Baron High Technologies. In this video, we'll be going over the troubleshooting process for the loss of power error code. If you take a look at the control board, we'll go over the process for clearing the error code and getting you back to the current setting screen. Shutdown, loss of power, 4 hours and 58 minutes. Shutdown options are continue shutdown or reset. Press down to go to reset. Press enter. Caution. Ensure fire is out. Floor will shut down. Smoke leak possible. In this case, we do not have a fire present, so we can continue the shutdown. However, if you do have a fire going, I would recommend letting it continue the shutdown until the unit is cooled down and there is no fire present. Press the down arrow to go to yes. Press enter. You're back to your current setting screen. Should you frequently be getting the loss of power error code, you could be getting intermittent signal to your home in which it's going to go through and frequently give you the error code loss of power. In those cases, I have had people go through and use a battery backup rated at a thousand watt or more continuous to help alleviate some of those issues. In a lot of cases, to prevent the unit from getting damaged, you could also use a surge protector. In this case, we're strictly going through an extension cord for troubleshooting purposes and testing. So if you take a look back here, if you do not have any screen present, we're going to check voltage to your outlet. And you should see anywhere from 110 to around 120 volts present. So we do have voltage going to our outlet. Now should your board still not turn on, make sure the power cord is unplugged. Remove your four screws holding in your control panel. Carefully pull the control panel out. And if you look here, that's where our fuse is located. Using a multimeter, we're going to ohm that fuse out to make sure we are still good. And we do have continuity, so that is a good fuse. Next, we're going to troubleshoot the wire harness. So if you grab this white clip right here, depress the hook, carefully position your control board so you don't scratch the panel, and we're going to be checking the back of the wire connections. If you see a metal prong sticking out of the back of the white clip, it's not getting a good connection. And we are okay on this one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the back of the furnace. And here is where our power is connected. I'm going to disconnect these, the white and the black to the blue and the brown, or in some cases also a white to a white and a black to a black. Again, using continuity checks. We're going to check our white to our white, and we do have continuity, so there is no break in the line. Now we're going to check the black to the black, no break in the line. I'm going to check for any punctures in the power cord. We're going to check the power cord. No break in the line. So this indicates we have no breaks in the line, no punctured wires, melted wires, and we have good connection from the power cord to the control panel. So we're going to go ahead and plug those back in. 
And at this point, if your board still does not have power, then you'd contact your local dealer or through our FahrenheitTech.com website, fill out the contact form and submit the online form to get information as far as what parts you're actually in need of. Thank you for watching.